Hey, so uh, I I'm here to talk to you today about um, some challenges that small businesses have and brands have with um, uh, getting their business off the ground. Um, so I'm Robert. I'm the uh, uh, I'm a father, son, and nephew, um, and I'm also the founder of a company called the Innovia Group. Um, we're a custom solutions integrator, and all that means is that we use um, software to um, uh, help businesses operate more efficiently. So if you're a business and you have a uh, desire to create a new website or a new mobile app, um, that's what we help do. Um, so we've been in business for a little over, this is our 12th year being in business. Um, and during that time, we've worked with companies from very small companies to um, pretty large international companies, helping them build software platforms for either their customers or for their employees. But my heart and my passion is in community um, and how we can leverage community to um, to 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 do a whole bunch of stuff, right? So how we can leverage community to um, support the families that are within the community, how we can leverage community to empower our children that are within the community, and most importantly is how can we leverage community to build wealth. So I've been on this path for a little over three years now, um, studying what it means to to build a community and how you can leverage community in support of your business. And this is near and dear to me because I'm a one, I'm a small business owner, but um, like, like I said, I'm a father of three. And a part of my passion is um, how do I create an environment where my boys can grow up um, seeing other boys like them, having, other opp having opportunities be normal to them, um, and an environment where they can feel protected. So at the heart of everything that I do, it really is my three boys and my wife that really is my, 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 my drive, is how do I create a world where they can not face some of the things that I had to face growing up, or even as a young adult. So with that, um, I, I've now in this path of, of entrepreneurship, um, so I guess I'm a business owner now. Um, so what I've done is over the years, I've been working with many small businesses to build software solutions. And before I get into the platform, I kind of want to walk you through the problem that I'm seeing. So the challenge that I'm seeing is that brands and small businesses are really struggle with how to use community to grow. And one of the things that I've realized is that as the way that we can grow um, is through leveraging our community. Community is a way that businesses thrive. Um, community is a way that um, wealth is built. Um, a lot of us as, as small businesses, we have we run into challenges of we cannot get the capital to grow a business or implement an initiative. Um, that's always one way to do it. Another way is to provide a service or provide a good that meets the need of the community around you. And you can find that most of your fi funding needs can be met within the community. But this is a give and take, it's a relationship, because as you are given to the community, the community should also be able to give to you. And in many ways, a lot of what we need as small business owners is the community to give back to us in a way that isn't in terms of charity, but it's in terms of giving us the opportunity to get it right. So the the, the model that most people teach in terms of how you grow a business is you, you, you come up with your idea, right? This is these little folks down here. They're very happy. They have their idea. Um, their first step is to make people aware about it. How do you go about making people aware of your business idea? Um, and today, um, that's in word of mouth. It could be um, creating a Facebook page or a social media page, building some type of email list. And then you're going to look to engage those people that you come engage that you come in contact with and the, and the premise there is to get them in today's fashion is to like <coughs> subscribe or follow you in the hopes that they will spend money with you and for those people that do spend money with us we as business owners do one of two things we either thank them with a follow-up 
or we're going to re-engage them again to try and sell. And this is largely where a lot of small businesses kind of tend to focus is how do I get people to spend money with me? Community, however, has another aspect to it is people not only spend their treasury with you, but they also spend their time with you. And this is where I see a lot of value for small businesses and for even for people with brands that are trying to create um, that even with entrepreneurs that are creating new brands and, and looking to, to build a following around it. It's acknowledging the fact that people spend with you in two ways. They spend with you with their time and they spend with you with their money. And today's business model that we see the, the uber successful companies are doing, we're really focused on this one, them, them spending their money with us. And this model really only works with large organizations because they are the ones that are able to take a transactional approach to business. Smaller businesses, um, family-owned businesses, community-based businesses, they are based on relationship. So as a business owner, once you get to and you from your website or from your social media page, you start to add different tools to your, to your repertoire. And you tend to look like this, right? You tend to develop a process where you would use a bunch of different tools and you're juggling them. Um, and, and, and this process works pretty well for a lot of people, right? You're, 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 it's not too expensive, but it does take a lot of time. And this works until you've reached some point of threshold where you're either spending too much time trying to get the basics done. It's not scaling. Um, it's, 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 it's tough to create some type of um, uh, customer experience or community-based experience, juggling all these different tools and these platforms. Um, and you're minimally spending about $50 a month at least in some type of monthly subscription for some type of software solution. Either it's to host your website, to manage your email list, to use a, a tool um, such as what you're using right now to that you're seeing this presentation on. Um, and there are those that once they get to that threshold, it makes sense for them to make an investment to make that experience better. And the goal is to hopefully save them time and money in the long run. So the second option is to make an investment in custom software. And this is where I meet most people. Uh, so in my business, once customers got to that point, they would come and see me and we would discuss a solution for them um, to meet their need. And it would either be a solution of we'll build something from the ground up for you, or they would have an existing system <clears throat> and they would wanna be able to get the two different systems to talk to each other. And we'll help them figure out how to do that. So custom software, uh, again, this is a very expensive approach to take. Um, the average cost, custom software project can cost anywhere between five thousand to two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars to get it going. Um, that's the initial investment that you're going to make. It can take anywhere from six to nine months to build, and it's inherent with risk, right? There, there's risk of, as a customer, because you're creating something that hasn't been created before. There's often many times where you can communicate a requirement that isn't that once it's delivered to you doesn't meet your intended need. So then you have changes that need to happen. So if anybody's ever worked with someone to build a website, um, you go through that process with them where you are. That's not exactly what I want. Change it. Move this here until you get to the until you get to the thing that you're looking for. With custom software, it's a bit more detailed than that. I would I would. I would say it's very similar to building a house. You know, once you put in the foundation um, and you start to put up the walls and you put in the electricity, um, if you want to make a change as you're building a house, it's expensive. It takes time. Custom software is the exact same way. And very few businesses can sustain what it takes to build a custom solution and manage it going forward. And this is where I found a lot of the problems. Um, the industry that I work in, um, they report that at least 65% um, of projects related to custom software fail or fail to meet expectation. That's a huge number. In my business, we were a lot less than that. We were at least 30%. Um, well, 30% of the product that we did, customers 
we didn't deliver it to the customer the first time within budget, within time, um, and didn't meet some type of um, agreed upon quality. There had to be some type of concession. And this is just the nature of doing custom software. So I didn't feel good doing this. As a business owner working with other small businesses that are struggling, it doesn't feel good when you have a customer, you've delivered a product, you've delivered a solution to them, and they have to make a concession for it. So I started to think there must be a better way to do this. And we came up with a platform that I want to share with you today. And it's based on um, this concept of community and how you can leverage community to grow um, your brand and your small business. So the product, what I kind of want to walk you through today is walk you through what is the community cloud, um, walk you through what the journeys look like once you have this community-based approach, and discuss some of the things that you need to do to make your efforts of building a community a 10. If you were to ask yourself and do a survey, are you from one to 10, where would you see yourself as it related to building a community? Not everybody would say 10. Most people, um, I wouldn't even predict to say where, where they would say themselves, but it's definitely not a 10. So that's the type of conversation that I would love to be able to have with folk today. So the solution. So what we've built is a platform called the Community Cloud. And what it is, it's uh, think of it like an online store. Um, uh, it, that's based around community. Um, the intent behind this software is to save you time, money, um, and opportunity without the risks that come with custom software. Um, the way that it works is within your business um, or within your, your brand or within the community that you're trying to start, um, a customer can perform some type of transaction. So if I'm a small business and I'm selling, let's say, T-shirts, for example, um, when a customer purchases a T-shirt, you would tell the community cloud, um, uh, Joanne has just purchased a, a T-shirt. Please invite her to join our online community. And then the community cloud will send Joanne an invite. Um, hey, Joanne, um, uh, chocolate teas, I'm plugging my wife's um, T-shirt company, has... Um, is inviting you to join their online community. Joanne will receive that invite. She'll register um, to join the online community and she'll be in a space that you've provided that's separate from um, Facebook or Instagram or those or any of those other social media platforms. And what she will be able to do in that space is not only interact with you, the entrepreneur, or you, the group administrator, um, She'll also be able to interact with the content that you're providing in that space. And she'll also be able to interact with other members in that space if that's something that you wanted to do. Coupled with that, you as the entrepreneur or the, the brand owner or the, 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 the community um, administrator, you can reward people for their engagement. So that takes a form of giving them um, discounts and pricing. Um, so you can establish different levels of membership within the platform. And at different levels of membership, you can have different pricing that's available to it. So the platform comes with um, four uh, solutions with it. So one is a member portal. Uh, this is both a web and mobile app um, that customers can log into. Um, they can create their own profile, they can view other profiles and they can interact and engage with each other. Um, there's also a landing pages or website builder that's that's also included in it. So this allows you to create a public face for your community, um, for your community store. Um, you can have your listings on the store where people can purchase. Um, the words that are actually missing on this slide here um, is the marketplace. Um, so we have created a marketplace where um, you can have other vendors um, register to be a part of your community and they can list their offerings as well. Um, and last but not least is a business directory. So if you're an organization that has um, uh, members that have businesses or you're an organization that wants to allow outside businesses to advertise their business, um, we have a directory built into the platform for that. So this would allow members within your community to get access to vendors that, that you as an organization or you as a community are promoting. Um, 
as well as allowing um, outside organizations or outside people to come to your website, come to your community page and see what vendors you are promoting as being um, supportive of your community. Um, so that's the solution. Um, that's how it works. And that's what you get. Um, so with that comes a different type of approach. Um, it's the journey. So if you remember before, you, 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 you make people aware, you engage, you ask them to like, subscribe, or follow, and then you look to um, have them buy from you. This model is a little different. You make people aware as you do today. You engage people as you do today. And you can even ask people to like, subscribe, and follow as you do today. Um, in addition to that, however, is the community cloud, as, long as, as well as giving you an online store, it gives you the ability to establish a higher level of engagement for you and your, for you and your followers. So you can ask people to join and be a part of your community. And by them being a part of their community, they all the benefits that come along with that. The ability to connect with other people within your community, to be around like-minded people. The ability to engage in content that you're producing and making available within your community. And this is separate from what's available on, on social media, right? So as a small business owner, one of the conversational points that we have with you is, if you're looking to implement some type of community-based approach, look at it from the perspective of the content that you produce, that you put out on social media, and the content that you produce to engage community needs to be different. There needs to be some type of incentive to people um, for wanting to join and be a part of your community, other than um, uh, uh, in addition to getting rewards or in addition to getting access to people, it's it's what's that additional thing that you're going to have. So a lot of people they 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 produce content. They they, they are they, they're a lot of entrepreneurs that I, that I that I talk with. People are attracted to you, the entrepreneur, or you, the business owner because there's a certain passion that you have about what you do. And a lot of challenges is that you are able to get a lot of people to engage. You're able to get a lot of people to like what you do. You get a lot of people to subscribe to what you do. You get a lot of people able to follow you. But the challenge is how do I monetize that following that I have? And the community cloud kind of helps you with that first step. That first step is about establishing some type of um, uh, membership base where people can um, enroll into that and get the benefits of those intangibles that are you. Those intangibles that you cannot bucket, that you cannot wrap, that you cannot sell, um, but it allows you to now be able to do that through the community cloud. So in short, it allows businesses and brands to create a, um, a, a membership-based revenue stream for them. Coupled with that, the, the platform also allows you to establish different levels of membership. So as you're building a community, one of the things that you're gonna run into is, now that I have people in my community, the conversations that I have within my community are not all the same. There are different levels of communication, there's the different levels of engagement, and with each level of engagement comes a different um, thing with it. So um, you can establish different levels of engagement. So in this example, you have your entry level of engagement, you have a higher level of engagement where you can incrementally reward people through discounts or through rewards or through access to things that you're offering. And within our platform, I think this is what really separates us from like a, a, a PayPal type solution is that as well as being able to do commerce, transact business, we built in over 10 different ways that you can engage people within this um, online store. So within your online store, you can create a group. And this is where you can get people to join groups just so they have, just so they would join a, a Facebook group and they can interact with each other within that, within that space. If you're an organization that has trainings, um, you can provide trainings that are exclusive to people at particular membership levels and membership tiers. We allow you to be able to um, keep track of volunteers. So if you're an organization or brand that wants to get their community to volunteer and support different efforts, this is a platform where someone that's a part of it, they can make a request to volunteer for a particular event and you can manage that on your uh, event list. You can manage your meetings. So we have some boards that use the platform um, for their for recording their meetings and minutes and motions that, that can be captured in the platform. Um, you can use events just like you would use um, Eventbrite. Um, and the list goes on. You can direct message, you can FaceTime call, you can manage referrals 
all these different types of, of, of engagement in the platform. And then we have high levels of engagement around um, engagement rewards. So this is where you can, as well as getting people to engage, you can reward them, you can give back to the community. And last but not least, you'll have a scenario where your community will promote you. So what we found is we built this, this journey map around how to establish and get to community. Um, so again, the process is, you know, you start from here by making people aware and you want to kind of work to get your way here where your customers and your group members, they're promoting you, they're promoting each other, they're promoting the community. And once you get to this level, um, there's a ton of success in there, not just for the business owner, but also for everybody that's involved. So at, at a high level, I kind of spoke you through um, what you get, what's included in the platform. So again, um, you have a business directory there, you have a mobile app, you have a portal, you have a marketplace, um, all within a platform. Um, this slide kind of speaks to around who's involved in community. Um, so as well as we, our product is available to um, the business owner, the community owner, the brand owner, um, but once they license a product, they have access, they can support um, through, this, through this one platform, they can engage supporters, customers, members, even business partners on the platform. They can have their, their team plugged into it as well, their employees, managers, and even set of administrators. So it's a, it's a holistic, it's a complete platform um, that engages every, everybody that's involved in um, community as we've defined it. So um, I, I have a quick demo that I could um, show you. So this is an example of uh, an organization. Um, it's a small business. It's called Make Doing Easier. Um, they offer um, products. Uh, they sell tickets. They do services. Um, they sell merchandise. Um, so with that, I'll kind of show you what the platform is. So I am going to stop sharing for a moment. With that, I will switch screens to the platform. And I will walk you through it. So, any questions? Um, please don't hesitate to ask. I love questions; makes it a bit more engaging. Um, there's a question here: Is the community account just for small businesses? Can I use it for personal use? Yes, you absolutely can. Um, so uh, a few ways that you can use this product. Um, uh, at any life event um, is a point in which you can build community. So if you have the birth of a new child, uh, if you're getting married, that's an opportunity for you to create community. Um, so with that, you can create your own online community. You can invite people to be a part of it. And you can share with them within this community space um, from that point going forward. So no, it's not just for um, businesses and brands, but we, we believe that um, every when two or more people come together, you either have a brand or you have some type of functioning aspects of a business. So let me uh, share my screen now, and I'll show you what the platform looks like. So, so right off the bat, um, this is the login screen that we have for a sample organization. Um, uh, you can set the background. Um, you can log in with either your Facebook, um, Gmail, or, uh, or, or LinkedIn profile. I'm going to log in with a username and password. And when you log into the application, one of the first things that you see is going to be um, community shares. So a share for us is what we call... A share for us is a way that you can share information with your community. So it's just like your Facebook screen um, or your um, LinkedIn profile. But this is your own private space where people that are a part of your community, they can come and they can share and they can connect and they can engage with each other. Um, as a part of that, they can connect and share and engage with each other. So shares are can be broken up by different topics. Um, so for a given topic, I can subscribe to a topic. And what it means to, to subscribe to a topic is whenever somebody makes a, a post, 
Um, they select the topic that they're posting to. Robert, are you yeah. able to make that a little bit larger? Because it's difficult to see on our. How's that? That is a little better. If you can do, go a little bit more, that'd be. Uh, yep, that's good. Good. Okay. Thank you. No problem. So um, a, a topic is just a conversational point that you're interested in. So um, what you can do is anyone can subscribe to a topic. And whenever somebody makes a post to that particular topic, um, you'll be notified and it will appear in your, in your, in your feed, um, which we call shares on the, on the platform. Um, communities have activities. Um, so once you log in, you can see your community activity. This will be your, your calendar of activities that are going on. Um, so this will be a space where anyone that is a part of your community, I kind of like this view, the list view, um, they can see what you have scheduled for any particular um, day of the month and they can scroll through the calendar um, to see um, what's going on. So here's a, here's a different view that I, th I think is um, much better. So you can see what they have planned for any particular day any one of these things, you can you can click it. It will take you to that particular uh, event that's on the calendar um, that you can that you can look through. So, I've clicked an, an event, and what's unique about our system is that you have what we call community events. So, as well as being able to sell tickets for your event, um, we also allow people to engage within the event. So, every event has its own share where people can post and share information within the event. Um, so an event within our platform kind of looks like this. You can log in, there's an image, there's a countdown. Um, they can purchase tickets or RSVP for the event. Um, and the share is something that's available to you um, because as, you work, as people purchase a ticket for the event, this is a way for them to start to engage and for you to engage them before, during, <coughs> and even after the event. So, um, and this concept works for, for an event for a workshop, um, even for services that you provide, right? So if, you're, if you have a workshop, um, somebody enrolls into a workshop or a training, you can start engaging with those enrollees even before the workshop starts. And they can start engaging with each other even before the workshop starts. During the workshop, um, they have the opportunity to do the same. And you can even do so after the workshop. Um, so this is a way to keep people engaged with what you're doing even after you've delivered that particular service. Um, collaboration is a big point in community. Like, how do we work together? Um, so one of the things that we've created is this concept of um, tasks or task trackers. So um, for every event, every workshop, um, we have this, we've built in um, projects into the platform. So for this particular system, I just, for this particular event, I just turned on the project component. And what it creates is a, um, this is what we call a Kanban board. And it allows you to create a task you can say, I'm going to assign this task to someone, and it's the I'm just going to give it a name, it's hello, and I'm going to create the task. And what it does is it will notify that person that they have a task for this particular event or for this particular activity. It's assigned to that individual, and the individual can come in. They can um, uh, take the task. They can drag it to in progress, and they can start working on it, give, give comments, and keep the work going. So what we found is that as people are working on, on events, um, there's a lot of things that they need to do. And a challenge is how do you manage this and keep it in context with what you're working on? Um, so we created this task board to allow you to do that. Um, so this is a way that you can create tasks and you can collaborate with each other around a particular thing. So it could be for an event, it could be for a workshop. Um, it can even be based on the entire community. Um, so this is the, the concept of, of, of events within the platform. Um, there's a lot of um, functionality in here, so I, I won't uh, go on for too long, but um, you get to see... I want to pivot. So with any brand or any small business or even with a family, you know, these are the offerings that you have. If you think about how you operate, you know, you're going to, you're going to have events that you're going to do. This is a space where you can publish the events that you have, that you have going on. People can register for them and you can manage that information here. 
Um, if you're an organization that has trainings, you can list your trainings. People can enroll, purchase your training, purchase their, their seat for a particular training date. <clears throat> if you offer services, and a service for us is just generally someone that wants a book time in exchange for money or book time in exchange for value, whatever that value, that perceived value is. Um, that's a service. Um, so you can support that within a platform. You can even, you can sell product within the platform um, as well as selling a membership as well. So those are the general offerings that you have. Um, <coughs> you can keep track of your members. Um, so everybody that's a part of your community, they have their own member profile. Um, here you can, uh, we have an index so you can click and get to anyone whose last name starts with, N, with M, for example. Um, everybody has a member profile. Here's an example of um, a, a, a member profile. So here, Members can share information with the community as well. You can follow them. This I clicked a member profile that doesn't have any information. Um, every member profile has uh, information about themselves that they can share with the community. I'm logged in as the administrator, so there's a lot of information that I have access to that a general member will not. Um, members can keep track of um, their engagements with 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 the with the community. Um, events that they've purchased, gifts that they've received, workshops that they've registered for, volunteers, um, activities that they've done, where they've been an instructor or staff member, um, merchandise that they've purchased, bookings that they've made, or any donations that they've done within a platform. All of that is tracked in here. Um, we have a referral component to it. And we also have the ability for the system to allow members to tell the system, whenever a particular event happens, send me a notification. Um, so this is a way that you can keep your members engaged um, uh, by doing what you normally do. So if you as an administrator or a community member adds a new event to the platform, the moment you add the event to the platform, the platform lets everybody in the community know that um, a new event has just been promoted. The moment that a new business profile is added to the business directory the system will notify everybody that the business that, that a new business has been added to the directory um so we're finding ways to work with to make it easier to build and to build an engaging community online um a lot of what i've shown you is like general information from like an administrative perspective um if you're an organization that has many different locations um you can create communities based on the location and the community members can connect with each other. Um, so here's an example for uh, this particular test account. I've created two different communities, one on, e one on either side of the United States. Um, so this is a scenario where we have two different physical communities. People can engage virtually online as well as be connected separately. Um, some other things that are in here as well, we have um, a direct messaging component to it. So people can um, direct message each other within the platform. You can find a member's profile. Um, they can connect with each other and they can engage by sending messages to each other within the profile, within the platform. Um, there's also a, a, mem a mobile app as well where members can engage with each other um, through the mobile app and they can even have face-to-face -face video calls within the app as well. Um, so this is the community cloud. This is um, the platform that we've been working on. And what we believe is that this is um, going to change the way that small businesses and brands build and develop online. A part of our setup process um, is, sorry, let me just share back my screen with you. Um, So that was a demo. Hopefully, um, if there's any questions, I'd, I'd love to answer them. Um, I did see a question around um, setup, uh, so I'll kind of speak to that in a second. Um, this is a um, for-profit business, so we do have pricing for this platform. Um, it, it, it's again, it, it, it is our, our target is um, 
brands and small businesses, but the platform can be used for anyone. So again, if you're a, if you're an individual and you want to build your own community separate from Facebook, you don't feel comfortable putting all your personal information out there on, on Facebook or Instagram, this is a space where you can do that for yourself. Um, we do have a free plan that is available um, as well. Um, so yes, it, it is for individual use as well. Um, we do provide some preliminary support in getting your account set up. Um, the way that that works is um, generally we have a, a setup process that we use. It can generally take about um, anywhere from, depends on how complex you want it to be, right? So we can support with you. We, can, we will sit down, we'll work with you on cultivating what your, what your new member journey would look like. We'll walk you through the process of getting your community set up. Um, we'll walk you through a process of training you to get that done. Um, and as well as giving you activities so you can manage it going forward. Um, so the information stays on the platform for as long as you're using it. Um, it doesn't get deleted. Um, so as long as you're using it, it's available to you. Um, in celebration of uh, this partnership, um, we've created a discount code. Uh, we'll be able to uh, um, create, a, uh, create an account using discount code uh, Kwanzaa, and you'll get 50% off your subscription. 